Okay, so you can hear it's not too much feedback your end? Yes, it's perfect. Okay, I'll right, just turn my volume up a little bit. Um, well, as I said before, thank you for um, taking the time out for this call today. Um, I was listening to your um, interview with Rick Archer and that's what, um, how I discovered you um, through that um, interview that you did with him some time ago. I think it was back in last year, actually. And um, I felt compelled to get in touch with you because um, uh, quite a few things that brought up some emotion in me and... Um, what I've been sort of going through and I feel very stuck at the moment um, and I think a lot of emotion that's from the past is surfacing and um, I think there's pain and there's anger and there's all sorts of stuff of, from when I was a little girl and I watch it, I look at it but uh, I'm just not sure how to deal with it, actually. Um, I've listened to other people and some people say to watch the pain and to be with the pain and eventually it sort of like, not dissolves, but um, you go into it and you sit with it and, and somehow it does dissolve in a way. But I can see that you don't have to poke too hard or say something. And again, that sort of anger or the, the um, anxiousness and that resurfaces. And I think um, the circumstances where I'm at at the moment, I'm living with my mother now. And as a girl, we had problems or growing up, we had problems. And I'm catapulted into the, the feelings of a little girl and it's just sometimes very overwhelming and how to deal with that and um, being within close proximity of that, like living 24-7 together, it's sort of, it's like it stokes the fire all the time and um, I, if, if she's not there, life is different but you can't blame her for that it's the stuff is within me and I guess this is the opportunity to really look at it and to deal with it and um, and how to go about just doing that. One of the ways is to approach it by exact I'm sorry, I can't quite hear you very well. One of the ways is, mm -hmm. is to approach the, the belief systems. Mm -hmm. So when pain arises, mm -hmm. to work with negativity a very effective way is a statement and a question. Mm -hmm. If you react to your mother when you are around her, mm -hmm. the thoughts would be like she shouldn't behave the way she does. And yes, then you ask, okay. is it true? Okay, yeah. And then uh, you're familiar with this? I'm familiar with, um, I think I did look at, um, it sounds very similar to the Byron Katie, the work, yes. and to question those belief systems, yes. And so, mm. Except that I would just approach it a little bit different. It's a statement mm -hmm. and a question and you don't answer the question. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. And then you do it one after another. Mm -hmm. I'm angry, is it true? I'm not supposed to experience what I do, is it true? Mm -hmm. My mother should be different, is it true? Means bring all the negativity 
into okay. the surface with a statement and just ask a question, is it true? Okay. Now, okay. do you recognize who you truly are? Do you know who you truly are? Well, there's, from, there's a part of me that um, it seems it seems to be the one who's looking, but um, that's who I believe that I truly am. And in my quiet times, um, it's there's really no thought there. There's just the perceiver of who I am. But um, I guess in a sense, do I abide in that all the time? Um, I think the mind comes in a lot for me. So there's that, what I call the greater part of me or the deeper part of me or whatever you can call that, but it's it's the, the wisdom behind the eyes, if you could, that's how I describe who I am. Okay. And if you, if you know who you are, not believe who you are, because mm -hmm. knowing is not of the mind when mm. I point about the knowing knowing through an experience then when you know who you are who you are is not affected by thoughts mm. who you are is not Sorry, affected I'm, by emotions I'm gonna put some headsets in because I'm having trouble hearing you okay um, I don't know why. I'll see whether this helps. Okay. So, can you hear now? Can you hear? Not, not great. I'll take them out. Um, is there, do you have a volume on your end or I've got the volume high on mine? Yeah, the volume has nothing to do. It's the speaker. Ah. So I hear you quite well. I hear you faintly, so um, maybe my speaker's <laughs> not so great. But I'll listen. Can you hear now better? Yes, a little bit better. Okay. So one can approach it different ways. If mm -hmm. you if you know who you are and you're mm -hmm. angry or you're feeling stuck, you can question who is the one who is feeling stuck? Mm. Yes? Yep. So you want to take a look for a moment? Mm. I'm, I'm not hearing you very well again for some reason. Let's try again, maybe, to connect on the Gmail. Sorry? Let's try to connect.